the <clears throat> the persona behind for example mm. I, I always heard okay Kendrick is this genius or, or Kanye is this genius that yes have this but I really <laughs> especially after watching uh, his Jorgen podcast yeah. Uh, I really think he's really dumb. No, he's not at all. I, I think, I, he's really I think you're you're really misunderstanding. No, no, he's a lot really of people dumb. do. You see, when he's talking about okay, I'm gonna do this, this, and I'm gonna yeah. create love, it, that's two year old talking. Not a yeah, but he, he's he do, 30, yeah, he was forty years old. Yeah, but, but he himself knows he's not gonna be the president. Uh, that's not the point. No, the point is that like. Okay, but, he's not going to be the president, or he, or, but he's only going to uh, ask the questions, make us think about it. Okay, yeah. but he's doing it like a two-year-old, like no, Greta Thunberg. That, yeah, of course. Yeah, he's <laughs> exactly the same thing. They don't know what they're talking about, and they're they're looking at it as very, very uh, childish, and. Uh, that's why I think I don't like his music because everyone said, "Oh, he's just genius." No, he's just a very, very mediocre music producer. No, because you didn't get, you don't enjoy his music. That's why you didn't get it. You know, it's the same with a lot of artists. Just because you don't like the music doesn't mean it's good. You know, uh, music is objective. Yeah, it's objective, but gene being genius is not objective. It is. It's act no. No, it's the thing objective. is like. You see this music, you listen to it, and you don't feel it. You don't understand. It's the same with looking at an artwork. Like, what do you what do you think is the best artwork in the world? What do you think is genius? Like Mona Lisa. A lot of people consider Mona Lisa is a really good artwork, right? Okay. There are people who think Mona Lisa is stupid and it's not anything special. You know why? Because they don't understand. They just look at it and say, "Oh, it's just a uh, picture of a person." Okay. Instead of uh, in the uh, in the subject of being a genius or not, yeah, you have to uh, think about it as a uh, what the majority of people say. You see? Yeah, for example, for sure. if you ask some people, they're gonna say, "Oh, Einstein was uh, wrong, and hmm. uh, Newton was wrong, and the God said, for example, this said and that." Yeah, but the fact is. The Newton, Newton was a genius. Einstein was a genius, mm. and Leonardo da Vinci was a genius. Yeah, for sure. And Beethoven was a genius, mm. but I really don't think Kanye was a genius. Yeah, you know why people think Beethoven is a genius? How he made music, how he made his songs. You know, because people understand how hard it was to make each one of the song. When you hear a Kanye song, you just, as an outsider, you just listen to the song. That's the thing. Like you don't know how hard it is to make music. I know how hard it is, but I know many people did it better than Kanye. Directly, no, musically. No, 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 that's songs. from your opinion because that's what you heard. A lot of people. That's the, a lot of people are. There are that think like you, but the majority in the music world, majority of people who listen to music actually think the opposite of you because. They understand his music, you know. They understand how hard it is. Like in this topic, you're in minority, and you think you're in actually. I think in a hundred years, no one is even is even going to remember Kanye or Kendrick. Uh, I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm really confident about this. I don't know about Kendrick, but Kanye, I'm sure. No, I'm people. sure no one would remember Kanye, especially if they remember it. Uh, they're gonna remember it as a, uh, for example, how we remember. Uh, Awasi, for example, in yeah. Iran, everyone was a fan of him. Everyone said, "Oh, this this guy hmm. is blowing up." But we just ridicule it right now yeah. because how how dumb it was. Yeah, for sure. I really believe that's gonna the same thing is going to. Yeah, happen. but the thing is, like, I feel like you're right now being extremely arrogant because you're the type of person who's who, who you yourself said you're not in a, you were not in a music world yeah, I know. for so long. So right now you saying this stuff about Kanye is like listening to someone talk about quantum physics with like an uh, someone who actually studies quantum physics and say to them, oh no, you gotta listen to me. This is how it happens. You know, it's the same thing. Like you've been disconnected from the music world for so long, and what you remember is like the best music. You you remember that as like good music. So that's yeah, why actually. I feel like 
you don't kind of understand it and i think that's the problem uh i don't know but uh for example uh the thing about kanye hmm. uh, uh we shouldn't be talking about kanye actually it's a video about yeah kendrick uh, let's talk about kendrick yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, the thing about Kendrick, uh, uh, I don't know, I really... Like the same thing goes with T-Pat, to Grandpa Butterfly. Like, you really didn't, I feel like, get the production of that album. How hard it was to make it and how beautiful it sounds. I feel like you don't enjoy it because you don't find it beautiful. But majority of people, like, you know, for, you know the fact for free, you, you thought it was stupid or weird. But you know the background music, how amazing that sounded, the jazz of it, the avant-gardeness of it. Like it sounded, I believe that that was like beautiful when I first heard that. See, for like for because you are really used to simple music, and I know what you're gonna say, like Eminem. Like Eminem is like extremely simple music compared to what right now is like the music world and what uh, other Actually, artists. Actually, I think Eminem is way deeper than no, sounds. No, no, Eminem it's, is really extremely. Way, way deeper because you know Eminem is the type of artist who gets the beat he writes something he he writes rhymes he writes 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 and he sings it but the way it happens with most artists right now especially with producers like Kanye or Kendrick Lamar that they're involved in everything like from the production they're involved from the first signs to end of it they they have influence over maybe they shouldn't because <laughs> the outcome I really don't think it's very no well, okay. well you think that, like that but I personally and majority of people think like that the music that Eminem puts out is sounds like shit but the rhymes are good but the music that the like Kendrick Lamar or Kanye West puts out sounds good and in I like enjoy listening to it but the music that Eminem puts out like I listen to it and yeah I listen to it like this guy is saying so many good stuff but then I I, I listen to the beat and I'm like like fuck, what is this? Like, it Actually, doesn't sound. Actually, I really like the uh, Eminem's beats better. Interesting. Maybe because you were used to it. Maybe. Hmm. But uh, another thing goes back to the artists. Hmm. Uh, for example, uh, about Eminem, yeah. I really, uh, really think he's a genius. Hmm. In lyrics, in what way? In being a lyricist for example his lyrics are uh, very complicated yeah and for example the black uh, black thoughts yeah uh, i really for like sure. him i really think he's a genius mm. because uh the freest style he did yeah and in one take mm. okay uh i'm pretty sure kanye can't even do yeah because know, one or two minutes like yeah him. yeah because kanye is not the person who freestyles, you know, like you're looking at it in one way. Music is not just about lyrics. Lyrically and uh, live performance, and what he was talking about. Hmm. Uh, and Kendrick, I've seen his uh, freestyle and uh, the exact joke, hmm. and uh, it actually you couldn't even compare it to the Black Thoughts. Yeah, for sure, because. Uh, on what he's talking about. Okay, he's talking about race. Yeah. Black, I really don't like, uh, when, I don't know, for example, we shouldn't say I don't like. Mm. I don't like it when people do it badly. Yeah. Talking about race. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, I said the Neil deGrasse Tyson, mm. uh, the letter he's uh, he read at the Comic Con. Yeah. I really love that. Mm. He's talking about race and what he was going through, and I really like that. Mm. And the Black Thought. Yeah. Uh, that whole nine minutes that, that was about oppression and racism yeah. and uh, social difficulties. And also, to go there's one more thing you have to I have to point out to you. You know that most freestyles, like they remember, like they have yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. He had written it down. Yeah. I don't care if it's a song or a freestyle. I, I, I really don't care. The mm. live performance. Yeah. Uh, and what he was talking about. Mm. Actually, I could. I really like that, mm. but when uh, Kanye or Kendrick talk about race, maybe the way they talk about it, I really don't like. Mm. Or for example, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. I really think Dave Chappelle is a genius. Mm. And he always says, okay, 
I sure don't agree with him, but he says uh, uh, there are a lot of racism. Hmm. I, but I really like him hmm. because he says, uh, I don't know, he manages his words in, in, in a very good way. Hmm. But I don't know why I cannot feel Kanye or Kendrick. Maybe because you just can't. I guess. Maybe. You just can't do it. <laughs> the same way, the same way I can't feel some stuff or some people. You just can't. I, guess. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's uh, trying too hard. Because no. I, I say trying too hard because I, I, have you seen Eddie Murphy's uh, stand up? Yeah. I really don't like Eddie Murphy mm. because I think he's trying too hard. Mm. But compared to Dave Chappelle, yeah. uh, he isn't trying at all. He's mm. just. Yeah. Uh, I think that's why. Mm. I really don't like uh, trying too hard to mm. say something. Interesting. I don't know. Mm. Maybe. For me, I don't think it's trying too hard at all, actually. And when you like talk about trying too hard, is it's really ir- ironic because the first person I think about when I think about trying too hard is Eminem, <laughs> especially his latest albums. When you hear it, like it's, I feel like you're gonna really enjoy it, but mostly people really hate it because he's trying too hard like whenever i listen to an eminem song or listen to his albums i always want something more like i always feel like he's doing the same thing over and over songs like yeah no 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 over yeah Dr. because Ray beat. that's uh i really think he should have stopped uh hmm. there was a beef between eminem and that guy kid shot yeah uh, and yeah. The other guy say he should. Have, he really should have stopped. He talked about everything. Okay. Hmm. Maybe if I don't know, uh, another bad thing happens. Yeah. Him, he could okay write something new. Yeah. But okay, we know you had a horrible mother. Hmm. You had a horrible childhood. Uh, you are really poor. Yeah. And uh, okay, really lo- love your daughter. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, I don't know. Maybe that's it. And also, I don't think art is specifically about bad people happening to people. Like, no, it's not about that. It's just about having something to express. It's not about yeah, just... but you can't have you you can't just have another story and have something to express. And that's what I feel about most Kanye albums. Like Kanye doesn't have anything, but he expresses himself. He says what he thinks. He says that's what he... why I don't like it because he doesn't have anything to say. Yeah, but you don't have to have anything. You don't have to have something yeah, to actually say. You do no you don't actually do it's expressing yourself means uh, the word express means uh, requires you have something to express yeah not for just sure being yourself uh, that's not an art yeah yeah, yeah of course being if, if being yourself was art they, then he could have just talked and people said oh this is like art but no like being yourself and expressing it in a way to music like making something making an art making a painting you know uh you see make, uh, making a painting requires a, an image in your yeah for sure mind and mm. a story behind the image no you don't need a story actually uh, yeah sometimes you don't need it. i agree but mm. you, you really need the image you can't just yeah. say okay it's a blank yeah, it can. the postmodern art. The yeah, thing, which is really thing, stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's really stupid. I really think that's the equivalent to Kanye. He doesn't have anything to no. say, but just says. That's and everyone that, said. Oh, this is really genius. It's really not. That goes back to the same thing where I don't think you understand it at all. Like especially like when we listen to the whole Kanye album and the Joe Rogan interview, I don't think you understood it at all. And that's the problem I think with most people when they look at art or actually I really understood what he no, was saying on no, Jorgen. No, you didn't. What was he saying? So you said the same thing about him talking about positivity and love. Yeah, yeah. But that's not what he was talking about. He said he he said he's, he talked he talked like so about something he doesn't know. He yeah, said yeah. himself he doesn't know about this. So why are you talking about it? What he was saying was that when I say something I don't know about it. I should go and ask someone who knows something about it. And that's the problem with America right now. He said something about that. He said like when the, uh, if you go to the interview, he says something about that. He said that anti-vax mom who wouldn't anti-vax his daughter or son. Yeah, he says, oh, 
vaccines kill people. Well, it's not because of his fault or the, the mom's fault. It's because the mom doesn't go to a doctor and doesn't listen to people who actually know what they're saying. And he so said, that's just saying the uh, obvious. Okay, everyone knows that. Yeah, well, so what's well a lot of solution? What's the solution? Give well, us a solution. The it's solution. just making observations. You see, that's like uh, exactly like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> No, I actually, really hate Jerry Seinfeld. Well, he said that because he says, well, well why, why aren't people doing it? Well, that, that's, his, that's the question he's asking you or a lot of people. Like in our daily lives, why are we so arrogant? And why do we like talk about stuff we don't know? And why, why aren't we just going to people? Like when, we, like when he was talking about politics, he was talking about like people voting. He was like, always people always say vote, like, go vote. Well, vote who? Talk about who you should vote and actually say something to people, you know? So what's the solution? He's just saying, oh, people don't go to doctors and ask opinion. What's the solution? Well, he's not offering and he, he doesn't pride on offering a solution. He's just saying like... He's, oh, he's just saying his observations. A two-year-old yeah. can do that. No, it's not <laughs> genius, actually. He's no, very I'm not stupid saying, and dumb. I'm not saying he's genius because of the Joe Rogan interview. I'm just saying like... He's being really misunderstood by people. No, no, he's not. He's just saying his observations. Okay. Yeah. People don't do that. Okay. We yeah, understand. but everybody knows that. I feel like uh, he's the only one who's. Uh, he, he thinks he's the only one who was come. Oh, the problem is people uh, who are anti vaccines don't go to doctor. No, everybody no, knows no, that. No, he's not. He's not saying I'm the only one who says that. Actually, I believe he. Uh, he thinks he's the only one who actually er, anytime he said something if you actually listen to the interview he he brings hints that like oh this person said this years ago and you're not listening he does that a lot so what's the solution okay that person said that well he's, he's not offering any solution he's just saying okay uh the problem with uh, i don't know with america which, which i don't know what what's the problem mm -hmm. if there is any uh, which I don't think there is. I think it's a very, very, it's flawed. Yeah. I really agree with Jordan Peterson. It's really flawed, mm. but it's really great. Mm. And uh, so what's the solution to the problems? It doesn't have any, it's just making observations. Yeah, of course it doesn't have any. When, like when he talked, when Jordan asked him about foreign policies, he didn't have any solution. Hey, he was just talking. Yeah, because that's what he came here to do. He talked about this himself and his ideas. Uh, but his ideas was, he didn't have any ideas. He just had observations. Yeah. Which everyone knows. Okay, these are the problems. What, what's the solution? Yeah, but he, he's not the person who brings solution and he's, he, he doesn't think- So he, why is he running? Why is he running? Because he, he just wants to. That's the thing with him. He so just wants he just to. just wants to. Okay. Yeah. That's like a two-year-old, okay? Yeah. He's not being misunderstood or anything. You know, but like he just wants to run and he just did it. It's not being a two-year-old. It's just that yeah, it he's is. a guy who accomplished anything in his life and he wanted. And he just wants to run for prison. And he knows himself he's not going to win. It's like... So what is the very... What's the hype on it? There's no that hype. he's being understood, misunderstood. Everyone's saying, oh, he's being misunderstood. Yeah. No, he's not. He is. He became <laughs> successful and he's running. Okay, that's it. Everyone understands. Yeah, but that, that's the thing. What? A lot of people don't not understand. Like, what's, that, the, what's the not understanding? Like, part? a lot of people think he's just running because he wants to steal votes from Trump. <laughs> he, he wants to steal votes from Biden. I, I actually, I don't believe anyone believes that. There are a lot I, of I people, believe yeah. the majority of people know. Okay, he's successful and he's just running. And, and like me, they're ridiculing him. Yeah. I'm not ridiculing him, I'm just laughing because he's really like a two-year-old. Yeah, like there is like there, there's no misunderstanding. Is, no, it is for ridiculation and he knows like people ridicule him and okay. it's funny. There's no misunderstanding. No, What's the, the misunderstanding? misunderstanding is not about that. <laughs> it's about his whole life. A lot of stuff he's being misunderstood about. Like what stuff? I, I really don't, don't get it. Like the statements he makes, the music he makes, the sp statements he has about race about politics you know which statement is misunderstood for example he uh, when he supported trump yeah the hat. there's no misunderstanding 
Yeah, there is. No, but it's for just you, one. for you, it isn't. But for a lot of people, it is. See, that's the thing. You're looking at it as a, in a bubble. You you're looking at it like, oh, that's what I think. So that should be true for everyone. But he's being misunderstood by like most of the country. Like you think. He, that's the thing. You say like I think it's not like that, but I know it's not like that because I follow the news. I follow Twitter, and I I actually follow the news and like the news in uh, the news in America. Maybe you don't have time, but maybe okay. You just wanted to support whoever you wanted. So hmm. what? What's the big deal? No one says there is a big deal in that. <laughs> so what's the misunderstanding? For? You just wanted to support Trump, and you say they yeah. misunderstood him. Yeah, a lot of people misunderstand him because he thinks he, uh, people. Well, first of all, most of the uh, things that he uh, like, he's being misunderstood by. A lot of people, he's he think he's extremely dumb. A lot of people think. Yeah, he, I really believe he's dumb. He's I not, really, I really don't I've think. seen his interviews and he really is dumb. No, that's the thing. Like he can't talk. That's his problem. He's really bad with expressing his words. Well, yeah. Well, you saw his interviews, but if you look at like he's. Like personal interviews he does, not like general interviews he does with other people. Actually, I really don't get the genius of him. I I don't see it in his music. I don't see it in his interviews. I don't see it in his uh, uh, clothes he make. I don't see yeah. the genius anywhere. Well, let's start with the college drama, all right? He's just a very successful guy. Okay, I get that. Yeah, but but he's other than genius. that, he is. No. I, I believe he is. No, he's not. Especially in the grand scheme of music right now, because what he does is extremely. I think is extremely valuable and extremely beautiful. And I think you don't understand. I I actually believe that. And I know you think you're in a majority, but a lot of people are in a majority and. Believe that he's a genius in music. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean that it's not true. The same way you think, like Beethoven, yeah, he's a genius. But a lot of people right now, especially young people, they, they think, oh, it's just music. It's just shitty music. It's just on piano. What was the genius about that? Well, you understood it. You listened to it, and you saw how beautiful it was and how hard it was to make. And choosing all these sounds together, like this track. Look at the the violin. This was in 2004. In 2004, no one used violin in rap. This was the first guy who came in and said, oh, "You know what? I'm gonna use violin in my rap and put a violin string and a piano." And then the next thing, it's with auto tune. At that time, using auto tune. Like was like, what the fuck is this? Like this is stupid. Okay, that's not genius. That's just some. Dude. That is. That is no, like, no. like making something out of Actually, nothing. Actually, that's not genius. You see, uh, but this is just one example. Like no, out of a hundred. He's using something that's never been used for this particular genre of music. Okay, yeah. like uh, Ray Charles. Yeah. Use that uh, gospel music for love songs. Yeah. Or for uh, I don't. Know, uh, yeah. Songs other than. Uh, Church songs, okay? Yeah. That's not genius. No one yeah, says it's for sure, but it's just uh, uh, thinking outside the box. Yeah, yeah, it's very different with being genius. Yeah, okay? but let me explain more. Like that's the thing. Like I give you one example out of like okay. thousands. So especially this song. He chooses to sing. Who, like imagine thinking about that. She chose to put the sample there. Like all these stuff are lining up perfectly. And you know, this is not like like making music is not like something you just do it, you know? I know how hard it is to make Yeah, music. but the thing is like you don't realize how much it's going on in the background. I know how hard it is actually. I know. It, yeah. It, you really worked hard on this. But I, I'm saying there's a difference between being a genius hmm. uh, and being just a Guy who thinks outside the box. Yeah, I know, but he's the guy who thinks outside the box too. But choosing all of this stuff together, like his production his style and his rapping, is like, you know, like I'm gonna like talk from the perspective of myself, and I'm gonna say like that's how majority thinks. And I'm not saying this because 
I made up my mind by the way the majority thinks. I didn't even give a shit about like what other people thought about Kanye when I listened to his old albums. But then when you like listen to the song by song and listen to this production, he comes in with amazing song after amazing song after amazing song. And he has influenced so many people. Like so many people are influenced by him. Like the most popular part of rap right now was made by him. Like, you know, the 808s and Heartbreak album. You know, like how is Beethoven a genius? Because he created something that a lot of people follow because he's a role model. He created something, you know, he created something amazing. And this is what he did. Like a lot of people don't realize, but... Uh, you see, uh, have you heard the, for example, the music of... Uh, Uh, what was the group's name? David Beckham's wife. There was this genre of music, you could say disco music. EDM? Uh, before EDM, it was disco music and there was there were a, a lot of groups. Mm. And everyone said, oh, they're genius, they're, uh, oh, yeah, for sure. they're doing this, they're doing that. They, oh, they mixed, I don't know. Uh, dancing with music and yeah. uh, but right now no one remembers them yeah because it's 20 years past yeah because like and everybody was for example uh, I think it was Backstreet Boys everyone was influenced by Backstreet Boys yeah but even One Direction they say oh they're, they're the new yeah. Backstreet Boys yeah for sure they, they combine I don't know mm. dancing with music I don't know what they do mm. but right now no one remembers them no one says oh they were genius yeah for sure because a lot of people just throw the word genius around with that thing yeah, yeah. About. i really think they're uh, throwing the word genius for kanye because no. i think really think uh, the same thing with uh, i don't know steve jobs maybe okay mm -hmm. he, he was a guy he yeah, was good very, at marketing yeah but yeah was... yeah very very successful guy mm -hmm. he knew exactly what to do to get people's attention yeah just like kanye he knew yeah. how to get attention but he was not a genius. Yeah, of course, because he was just a marketer. Yeah, Kanye is exactly like that. I, no, think. I, I think really, I really think twenty years from now, no one's gonna remember any of these songs. Yeah, actually, I believe no, that's not gonna happen, because that's the thing. Like, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I feel like yeah, especially right now, the thing you said it was from your arrogance, because you're not in the hip hop and the music world in general, like. In the music world, like majority of people, majority of people know how great his music is. Actually, 20 years ago, it, this happened exactly this happened. Majority of people were saying, oh, these guys are genius. Yeah. Hey, this is the new guy. But no, there is a difference between there's a difference between hype. That's hype. There's a difference between hype and being consistent. Like Eminem is consistent. Like in the music, what everyone knows, Eminem's last two albums were shitty. But if you ask someone, oh, is Eminem like one of the top five rappers ever? They're gonna say yes, because he, you know, his, his rhyming is impressive. I think the same thing goes with Kanye. Like, you know, his albums are like, I feel like when you listen to them, first of all, you haven't listened to them, you just listen to them like this. You haven't put on headphones and actually listened to them. Like every single one of them is different and every single one of them is trying something new and every single track, I feel like it's impressive the way he made them. I don't know. Hmm. We have to, it, it, has, it has to stand the test of time. Yeah, for sure. Say. But the thing is, it already has. You see, I really, for example, Shine hmm. uh, Yeah. when he changes his style, Yeah. Uh, it was I don't know five years ago. Yeah, I really thought, okay, this is genius. This is gonna yeah. stand. But right now, I don't really listen to it. Yeah, and because no one does. No, a lot of people. Because that's you. <laughs> and no, I really think it got lost because. Yeah, but, but the the thing is, just because it got lost doesn't mean it's not good. No, I, I'm not saying it's not good. Yeah, I'm saying there's a difference between good, great, and genius. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I really think the genius. Uh, uh, Kanye is not on, on that level. I really think uh, it's gonna be forgotten. Maybe I don't know five songs, ten songs. Well, the thing is, like, 
I know you're talking about the taste of test of time, but it has already been tested. Like, this album came out in 2004, and until since then, he has changed his side with every album and dropping a new album. And each time, people has tuned, people have tuned in. And like, if you're gonna talk about sales, like he had the most sales when he drops his album. Each time, each time, each time, he dropped a gospel album, Jesus is King, and. It was really like bad compared to his other albums, but people, it still went like, you know, sailed worldwide and people listened to it because people, you know, tuned yeah, in for was, him. Yeah, he's really successful. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. But, uh... You know, like, if, if he was just a great musician, I feel like he would have been forgotten by now. No, not really. It's been but almost I just don't, don't two decades. I don't think he's a genius. And on his... Uh, According to his interviews and the way he talks, yeah, I really think he's delusional and really dumb. Because the way he says, "Oh God, talk, talk." Yeah, but me. when he talks about that's the thing. Like everyone's saying, "Oh no, he re doesn't really mean that." No, he does mean that. But so he's delusional. No, he's not delusional. He's a, he's a crazy dumb just, guy. Just because that's someone it. believes in God doesn't mean they're delusional. Uh, I, I'm not saying believing in God, but believing God. Is talking to you is del being delusional. Yeah, but when I'm he says God talk to me, what he means, you can, if you listen to him, actually, you can tell what he means is that I one day I woke up and I got the motivation. The same way you no, wake everyone, up and get the motivation. Everyone, uh, makes ex excuses for him. No, it's not you excuses. You really, uh, you really like him and you really make excuses for him. No, I, I don't. But, I believe that he has done really shitty stuff. Like, I, I believe no, that. No, I'm saying he's a shitty person. Yeah, he's not, an as, not, not a shitty person. He's a dumb, delusional guy. Because he's, he thinks he, God spoke to him and God uh, created, uh, I don't know, uh, God helped him. I don't know. Uh, the stuff he was saying. That God wanted me to uh, captain this ship. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. No, that's your delusion. That's not. That's motivation. When he says, no, no, there's a difference between motivation and delusion. That's delusion. I know motivation. Is your motivation is, uh, motivation is saying I want to do it. Yeah, so I know I'm going to do it. Yeah, but God told me to do it. Yeah, because he doesn't want to sound arrogant. He said on the interview itself, if you listen to it fully, he said. I don't want to be arrogant and say I wanted to do it. I say God because I wanted to to to, to let people know that I wanted to. So do either is lying, either is lying. You say I don't want to be arrogant to say. So I'm saying God, he's lying and he's using uh, people's faith as a means to get attraction, or he's delusional and he believes. Okay, uh, I'm not saying. I don't want to do it, but God mm. wanted me to do it. Mm. it there's no, uh, there's no uh, third way. Yeah, but it's just two ways. Or either he's lying or he's delusional. The thing is, like, I don't know if you realize, but have you listened to Jesus when he says, "I am a God"? Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, but that's what he literally means. He thinks he's the God, so that's why he says God told me. So he has to say, why does he go to church then? He has to make his own church. Yeah, because he likes, he likes, he no, made no. his own church actually. He has his own church. He's, uh, why, why is he using Jesus when he's saying, I'm God? Because he likes he's to... using other people's faith as a means to earn money. No, it doesn't There's use... nothing wrong with that. He's yeah. just, uh, using, uh, uh, he's being uh, manipulated. Yeah, but, but he's not trying to manipulate anyone. Like he doesn't actually care. does. He actually you see, a lot of people who have fake, a lot of people who are Christians hate him. You see, <laughs> you are making excuses for him. No, I'm not making excuses. Either he's lying, okay? Either he's lying, which uh, that God, he didn't hear God, and uh, he believes he's God, hmm. and but he's saying God just not to sound arrogant, hmm. so he's using other people's, uh, misusing other people's yep. faith and abusing it. Or he's delusional. There's no other way. There's there really is no. There's a Which there's way? a middle ground in between it. Which way? The fact is that he just wants to do something. Like when he talks about Jesus, and if you listen to interview, he 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 says himself like, 
I really like gospel music and that's why I love going to church and going like he's he's so honest he's like telling people look I like Christianity because yeah. I like gospel music okay so if he's really honest yeah yeah which that could be true because uh, he said oh uh, he said a lot of uh, stuff that could be perceived as honest okay mm. so he's delusional that he really believes God talked talk to him yeah but that's the thing like you're you I told you the, the same thing before when he says God told me he means I want to do it I told myself he's like saying that no he's saying God told me like you rip like in this scenario when he says that okay you replace the word God with like motivation there's a huge difference between motivation and being manipulative yeah for sure but yeah. there is but he's not being manipulative he really he's not trying is. to manipulate he anyone actually is. yeah he is just like his wife you see uh, for example he's talking about god but he's married to kim kardashian yeah yeah that's being uh, a hypocrite no why what just that's being a hypocrite why because uh what part of Kim Kardashian's life is connected to God or church? Yeah, but is that really important? Yeah, it's really. It's not. Yeah, it really is. That sounds extremely close-minded just because you're no, wife. No, it's just uh, pure logic, you see? Uh, you get married to someone who is uh, not like you, but he's going to the right path. Exactly, you're going to a uh, somewhat the same path as each other. No, actually. Yes, that's actually. Not, that's not how marriage works. <laughs> exactly how marriage works. No, like marriage works. You're making works... a li- life together. Yeah, for sure. Okay. But that doesn't mean your ideas are going to be always the same and you're no, going to no, always Not always work. the same, but somewhat on the same path. Okay? Yeah. Because you're making a life together. Yeah. Because if you, for example, if uh, I believe in God hmm. and my wife my wife is a hardcore uh, militant atheist. Yeah. Our it's not going to be a life together. You see? It's gonna be tension. Yeah, of course. And the kids, kids are gonna be torn apart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, but it depends on you two. For sure. No like, no, it depends on everyone. No everyone's like that, you see? You have to be somewhat on the same path. Yeah, for sure. But you know, imagine, imagine, like you were talking about the same thing. Imagine your wife is a hardcore atheist and you believe in God. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem when you like do something and you say, "Oh, I did it." Like you bring the conversation in, and you disagreement, and then you fight over the disagreement. You see, marriage is talk- being married to someone. You have to talk to them. Yeah, it's for not sure. Like, it's not like a casual. Thing. But also, an important part of the marriage is agreeing to disagree. No, no. You see, it is. It is being very uh, taking, talking, uh, thinking about, about it in a very, uh, I don't know, uh, how do you say it? In a utopian way. Yeah, but. No, no, but it doesn't really exist. Yeah, it doesn't. For sure, it, it doesn't, doesn't exist, but. No, I'm and not being. Shouldn't be like this. I'm not being that utopian. I'm just saying, when you marry to someone, right? Of course, you have to have the same values. But at the end of the day, you're gonna disagree on some stuff. Yeah. And at the stuff. end of the day, you're gonna learn to agree to disagree. And the yeah, same point. Stuff. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you on some mm-hmm. stuff. But the thing with Kanye is uh, saying, "Oh, uh, I'm just really." devoted to Jesus, I love gospel music, mm. I'm going to church, I'm doing this for, uh, he said, uh, for, I don't know, a year, I didn't do any music, I just went to church, I yeah. tried to uh, give back. Yeah, but, that, so, you know, you heard that, but you haven't understood, you didn't understand him because you don't know Kanye. During the whole thing when he said that, I've dedicated my one year to church, I didn't do any music, what he means is that I didn't do any rap. He did gospel music the whole time. The sole reason he's going to church is doing gospel music. Unless, um, it doesn't matter if he did music or not. He's saying he did. He dedicated his life to I don't know Jesus. Okay. How do you, How are you going to dedicate your life 
if you are not being manipulative when you're married to uh, Kim Kardashian whose whole life is being a hypocrite and uh, using uh, other people yeah. to earn money yeah for sure he does she does that but I don't think it's the same just because you're married to someone who is a bad person doesn't make I'm not saying bad I'm not saying she's bad at all I'm not saying she's bad I'm just saying uh, on the stuff that uh, either he's as delusional as she is uh, or he's just like I think it's in the middle I don't think the delusional comes I think he's a little bit delusional, but that's because he has but he has a disorder. He's mentally ill, but I don't think he's that delusional. And also, he's lying. I don't think it's lying itself, but being misunderstood. I don't see him misunderstanding actually. The Every, whole, actually, uh, I think uh, I really understand him. It's just no. I just don't know if he's delusional or lying. Like the whole thing with the college dropout, when you listen to it in a whole, the, you didn't understand that. How can you say you didn't understand him? Because he didn't have anything to say. It did, but you didn't understand it. And that's, it goes why you can't understand him as a person. You didn't understand an album made by him. How can you understand his whole personality? Because I'm seeing the interview. I'm seeing he's struggling to... Uh, answer simple questions you see he's just making observations and exactly like the album he just made observation okay no one is using for example violin i want to use violin no one is using autotune i want to use autotune okay yeah but it's but not just that actually what what is it is the music itself how beautiful it is actually i don't like the music yeah it's because a, you don't understand being chaotic is not very it's not, actually, it's not chaotic at all. Because you know, it's pretty. The like, no, other other uh, stuff. You know. Yeah. Just putting layer on very. I know it's very hard. I know it's. I I could never do it in the middle years. I yeah. Could never do it. Just uh, a one minute song, a thirty second song. And I couldn't do it. Either. Yeah, we couldn't do it, and I think a lot of people couldn't do it either. A lot of artists couldn't do it either. Uh. I really think they could. No. I think a lot of people can do it, but uh... see, like I think the whole thing is that you listen to it, you don't like it, so you don't get it. The first important thing is liking it. So you, because you don't like it. You don't bother to actually try to get it or try to listen to it carefully, you know? And that's the thing with most music. As soon as you don't like the music, you just leave it, you know? Uh, no, actually, I'm very guarded and very, as you say, close-minded because uh, everyone's making excuses for it. And saying, oh, he's misunderstood, he's really this genius. No, he's really not. Yeah, because and I, I, I'm going to stand by that statement that he's a delusional slash dumb uh, guy. Delusional slash liar. Dumb guy. Either way, he's dumb. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to stand by that. That's, a, that's, that's your opinion and I respect yeah. it. But I, I genuinely believe that just comes from your arrogance and, and other, peop other people's arrogance. I feel like... You see uh, why I'm saying that? Because uh, Jorgen asked him questions hmm. that I knew the answer to. Okay? Yeah. And I, if Jorgen asked me that, anyone asked me that, I could have a very coherent answer, not just observations. Okay? Hmm. I could have a coherent answer, somewhat of an answer. But I don't consider myself a genius. Yeah, for okay? sure. Yeah. But he says, I'm a visionary. What, what, what did you vision? Tell us your vision. You're just describing utopia. That's not a visionary. You see, Elon Musk is a visionary. Yeah, but even Elon Musk himself thinks Kanye is a genius. Maybe that's uh, his opinion, okay? Yeah, but yeah, that's the whole thing. It came down 
to opinion. Uh, I really doubt Elon Musk said Kanye is genius. He, he said that. He said that. Yeah, and he actually believed it. Yeah, he let me down. Yeah, actually. no, because because he, genius we have to reserve for people who are actually genius, and someone who can under, uh, answer a simple question should not be considered genius. Just because he can, he because he. Did, Like the thing is, I don't understand it. You, you saw one thing. You saw one second of him. Everything. I, actually, I saw everything. Okay, he says I wanted to uh, design fashion. Uh, I don't know, going to fashion. Not everyone said I can't. What did you design? Just a very split. a lot of amazing things. You did. Actually, have you you haven't seen? Just, I, I've seen everything. No, you didn't. Actually, I have. Just because? No, I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> actually, I have. I I really believe. He sold all those clothes because he was Kanye. Yeah, no, actually no. The first seat that see that's the thing you did you don't know. See that all all of it comes from you having not much information and just assuming things. Yeezy season is clothing brand, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. It it has six seasons, right? Okay. Every season he he brings out something new. The first three seasons, no one knew it was him. It wasn't even named Yeezy season. It just came out, and how many did? How much? A lot more than it, it sells now because right now it's overpriced. <laughs> A lot more than it sells now. No, I, the income. Hmm. How 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 much was the income? I don't know that, but I'm sure. But I know for a fact it was more than what it was now. Uh, that was the, that was the time between. What was the album? What is that? That was the time between the life of Pablo and Ye. Okay, which is a, Google it. How much? Did he sell? Easy. One point three billion. Year by year. Yeah. No, no. Year by it is still. Yeah. No, no. One point three billion is the. Two uh, thousand. Total. Yeah. Uh, a fifty string is from a year earlier. Easy season year by year. Let me say one. Year. It does. Oh, is this China? It doesn't say anywhere. I don't know. And also, was it uh, Adidas? Uh, yeah. From the beginning. So what happened was that he had these ideas, right, about designs and okay. stuff like that. And everyone said, "Oh, like this is stupid. He was just a rapper." He he went to Nike. That's why he has a lot of beef with Nike. Okay, he went to Adidas. You have to. Yeah, they credit a lot of those sales to Adidas. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But people don't buy something when they want to buy something. They look at it and they say, "Oh, this is cool. I want to buy it." It's not like <laughs> Adidas yeah. forced them to no, buy but, this. Uh, it's the value of the brand. Okay. Yeah. He didn't create a brand of himself. He went to Adidas. Yeah, but then that. But he's saying I'm a visionary. I'm this and that. No. But then he not. did. His Yeezy is now his own brand. Yeah, but at first, he didn't create it from the ground up. Okay, there's a huge for sure. difference. Yeah, for, but for example, imagine imagine I I went to Apple, and I introduced a product to Apple. They made it. It got a lot of sales. Then I went to my own company, and then I created that the same product. It doesn't mean the product is for Apple. No, I still, I still created it. Yeah, I know you created it, but the uh, a lot of the credit for the sales go to the brand itself. Yeah, for the sure. Adidas. Yeah, the Adidas brand. Yeah, yeah. He created. He didn't create anything from scratch. Okay, he used the, the leverage of Adidas. Okay, from, the money was not from scratch, but the designs were. The, I know what the designs were. If the designs were really good, but then if he started 
Why did he? Because he doesn't this? have enough money. You know, the, the guy was just a rapper. Okay, okay, he didn't have enough money. Yeah. Why didn't he just wait till he had enough money? Well, he wanted to do it faster. Bro. Okay, why did he use Adidas? Because like, why, did it, why didn't he just get a loan? Because he didn't want to get a loan. No, because he just wanted to use Adidas's brand name. Actually, yeah, that might be true, but. Yeah. The thing, yeah, that is true because uh, he went to other brands. He went to Nike, and then Nike said no. He went to no. Why did he go to even to Nike? He just could have get a loan, and started from scratch. The company Yeezus, Yeezy yeah. or Yeezy, I don't know. Yeah, but did, did you did you uh, listen to the whole interview when he said he was fifty three million dollars in debt? No, actually, the, yeah, the, the well, he said that. Okay, he was in debt. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying he used Adidas. Yeah, of course. If he it did. was up to himself, uh, if he had uh, started from scratch mm. and he didn't use his own name, mm. I really doubt he would have sold anything. He, 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 he would have gone back bankrupt. I think that would have. I think it would that take a lot longer, a lot, lot longer to for for his product even to be like you know displayed. What? I, I didn't think he would go bankrupt, but I think he's for his products to actually get attention, it would have taken a lot longer. No, I think he would have gone bankrupt. Yeah, but the thing is like, yeah, he used Adidas, but just be honest, like right now, when you want to get go close, do you actually care about Yeah, yeah actually I care. Well, you go to Adidas or Nike if you want to buy sports. The first yeah, yeah. choice is that. Yeah. Well, do you even gonna give chance to a small shop which makes his own ideas no of course you're not gonna do that no no one is gonna do that no but someone who is really a visionary which he calls himself okay uh when you want to buy a car yeah do you buy a bmw or a mercedes or a brand new car of course you're gonna buy, buy a mercedes that's mm -hmm. why yeah i call elon musk a visionary mm -hmm. he some, started something from scratch and now he's competing with Mercedes. Hmm. Tesla wasn't around 10, 10 years ago, it was a joke. Yeah, but for sure. But now, that's a visionary. He didn't go to, I don't know, Mercedes. He but could have. Also, you have to think that Tesla didn't s start out of. Uh, he Before that, he was. He had a PayPal. He created Yeah, PayPal. I know. But the company Tesla, he didn't use. He could have uh, uh, brought his ideas. Uh, to add uh, his skills yeah to uh, mercedes and be i don't know mercedes electronics yeah which uh, uh, mercedes electronics hypothetical mm. mercedes yeah. electronics would have been like easy brand by adidas yeah okay mm. but uh, elon musk didn't do it because elon musk is a real visionary yeah he started started from scratch just like spacex he yeah. could have gone to nasa saying I have this idea for this rocket that lands uh, after launching. Yeah, but but he didn't do that. The reality is, you think it was from scratch, but the reality that you don't know is that before he had, that he had a lot of money. He, ha he had a lot of money and he had a lot of name recognition. That's yeah, really important. I really know he had a lot of money and name recognition. But the idea, I'm talking about the idea. Yeah, for sure. The idea he started the idea from the scratch. Uh, you see, he would. It would have been way easier for him to just go to Mercedes for the mm. Tesla and to go to NASA yeah, for, sure. for the SpaceX, and then he uh, wouldn't have lost all this money yeah. and earned lost slash earned. Yeah. Because, uh, for example, uh, at the beginning of SpaceX, mm. they had uh, I don't know nine failure yeah. launches. Yeah. If it was by NASA, it would have been. A secret and no one would knew about it. Yeah. The government uh, would uh, conceal it, mm. and no problem. Yeah. But he had to go through all the stress and all the failures mm. just because he had wanted to start from scratch. Mm. For sure. Yeah. He went the hard route, uh, but Kanye, I feel like he did it because he went to Adidas. Yeah. You see, the failures would have been Adidas's failure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, not Kanye's. Yeah, but that just makes him a greedy person. Doesn't make him. I'm not saying. Not I'm not saying uh, he's. Uh, 
He actually is not a visionary. I'm not but saying he's, he's greedy. I, everyone's greedy. You mm. should be greedy. Uh, because if you're not greedy, you yeah. won't be successful. He's very successful. He's a, uh, uh, he knows how to gain attention. Yeah. But he's not a visionary. That's all I'm saying. I don't think that's true at all. I don't think I don't think he's I think he's a visionary in music, not in design, not in designing for sure. He's not a visionary in that, but in music, he is a true visionary. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. He just like Ray Charles, mm -hmm. he opened the path for everyone else, yeah. and everyone uh, you could say is following him on this path. But again. Being a genius, I don't think he's a genius. I don't think Ray Charles was a genius, although I really love Ray Charles. Uh, and I don't think Kanye is a genius. Maybe a very great influencer on music. I think that just goes from the fact that you just don't understand music. Like a person who doesn't care about. Uh, what do you call it? A person who doesn't care about electric cars or a person who doesn't care about like what Elon Musk does, doesn't consider Elon Musk a genius. You can tell by the fact that like when you unuse on when you go on Twitter, a lot of people call Elon Musk a stupid idiot. You see you see why? Because of the stuff he says on Twitter, because of how ridiculous he is. Like you don't know how ridiculous he is, but it, it, he's like extremely ridiculous. See? Like People who don't care about electric cars and stuff, they call him like stupid because they don't know. They don't consider him genius because they genuinely believe that because they don't know about this stuff. I feel like it goes the same thing with you where you don't understand the music. So that's why you just say it's not genius, you know? Maybe. Maybe because, for example, his... Uh... First album, the whole point uh, was it all. He dropped out of college and wanted to start. Yes. And I really don't feel that. Maybe because it's the uh, it's the age. I've grown out of it. I don't think it's doesn't really matter about the age because a lot of old people. I just feel like you don't get it, Benson. I feel like you don't. To me, the the, the things he talks about is really mundane and and, uh, and very simple no i don't think at all actually and the uh, the interviews of uh, i've seen of him mm -hmm. and the jorgen podcast i have to listen uh, fully. listen to it fully please <laughs> the, uh, the clips uh, i uh, saw at the first uh, 40 minutes mm -hmm. And uh, I said about three or four clips. He yeah. talks about foreign policy or stuff. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he's very simple minded. He doesn't know how complicated and how uh, just how the world works. He's, he keeps talking about Haiti. Why is Haiti poor? Mm. And why is not yeah. Haiti I know, rich? But it doesn't work like that. It really, it just doesn't. Talks about Haiti like two times. That's it. Yeah, this foreign policy keeps saying Haiti. <laughs> two times. The whole thing was two times. That that's just that's enough. That's enough for showing that oh he's very simple minded. He doesn't really yeah, know but... how it works. It doesn't work like that. That just uh, or uh, he says oh my uh, my wife goes to prison and helps prisoners. Yeah. and helps them bail them, bail them out mm. but I know it wouldn't even make a dent on the uh, problem yeah for it, it sure wouldn't even, uh, it doesn't have a, it, it, even one millionth of a percent it doesn't solve even one, yeah, one millionth of a percent what he's saying he's saying I, like my wife does something just because you doing something doesn't have any purpose, doesn't take that away from you that you didn't, you haven't done something. No, I'm not saying he's, she's not doing anything. 
Yeah, but and but, he, and but. he's not also saying my wife is a saint. <laughs> he's no, just no. saying she does that. Yes, yeah, she does that. But why does he say she, he's saying she does that? So we're helping. No, uh, you're not helping. Well, he's he's just... not uh, solving the problem. Trust me, it's not solving. Yeah, the and problem. yeah, of uh, course, it's not solving it's, the problem. Where, if uh, even Kanye, Kanye, and uh, Kim, mm -hmm. if they even donate all their uh, money, money to, and it's yeah. not gonna do anything. It's, gonna, it's yeah. not. It's not gonna solve any problems. Any problem. Yeah, the problems are uh, way more complicated than that. Mm. So, uh, based on the things he says, uh, that's why I say he's very simple-minded. And to be honest, Kim wouldn't be uh, much better off uh, not spending that money. I just feel like. You're extremely arrogant, especially when it comes to conversations. I feel like, like you have this idea of a person, and this the second you hear that, you just think about that person just because you hear some stuff. You don't actually listen to people. Mm. You know, like, and you you really misunderstand stuff, a lot of stuff. Like the same thing you said about like Kim, like. He just says it to say it. He just says it because it's an interview. He said my wife does that. Well, just because he just wants to say it. He doesn't he's not saying it's solving any problems. He's not saying. So why is he saying that? Because it's an interview. He just says random no, shit. No, no, you don't say random shit. It's not. Uh, I never say random shit. But he does. That's his whole character. On in Grammys, he just randomly walks up to the stage. He walked up to the stage to uh, express his opinion. Okay? Yeah. To say, oh, that was better. Yeah. Not saying random shit. It's no, he does random different. shit too. No, no. It's not saying random shit. No, but he does random shit too. If you see his videos of him going to Grammys, that was that was AMAs when he went to them. He just walks up to the stage because he's just one, two, he just wants to gain attention. And as you said, he's mentally ill. I really believe he's mentally ill he's yeah delusional. he is mentally ill he's men mentally ill he's delusional he stopped using his meds and he thinks his god is talking to him and he's really dumb I he doesn't know how <laughs> solar panel works he doesn't know how yeah of uh, course he doesn't and he said himself he doesn't so why why do you pretend that you are a genius saying that you are a visionary no you're not a visionary no he's not saying he's a visionary as a and they say oh people hate me no i don't hate kanye actually but you don't but a lot of people do you're being so Be arrogant right now you say yeah, a lot of people do, do because of this stuff yeah i i actually uh i actually would get why someone would hate kanye yeah but the thing because that he's you said just about dumb panels. it's just so oh. dumb and he's saying i'm genius no average person is way smarter than kanye no, I don't Maybe not so. in the, uh, if you uh, see it as a mus musical uh, artist, yeah, he's very good. But on the all the other stuff, every all the uh, uh, average person is way smarter than Kanye. Because like, average person, average person, I feel like knows how uh, that solar panels are better than. Uh, uh, what you call water power? Yeah, but the whole thing about solar, like you didn't listen to that. Like the fact that you just said that just proves to me you didn't actually listen to what he was saying. The same, the, the thing about solar. He panel. said I don't like solar panels. No, he didn't say I don't like solar panels in general. He was talking about his farm and his own thing. He said I wanted it to run on water because no, he's saying. We are creating a community, a self-sustaining yes. community. Yeah. Uh, why? Why are you doing that? He just wants to do it. Why wouldn't he do that? I'm not saying he shouldn't. Yeah. But uh, he's saying it as if it's a, com uh, a accomplishment. No, it's not. No, it's not an accomplishment. I mean, it is. No. He's making a university. Uh, <laughs> I. Why would you want to go to his university? I don't want to go to his university. No, why I'm would anyone? He's making university for music. If someone is uh, 
like wants to learn music, yeah, they would go to his university. No, I recommend anyone who wants to go to his university to go to, I don't know, all the uh, New York is very famous for his mu music. Or Harvard? Yeah. Yeah. But you, most universities are bullshit. Bullshit. The same thing did, you know. Yeah, I know. But uh, I recur. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's way better than Kanye's university. Yeah, but at least he's trying to create something. You know, it's it's the same way. Like he says he wants to do something, and he goes and does it. He's not just saying, oh, I've done this. He actually did it, you know? When he said he's farming, that's real. He's actually farming. When he says he has homeless shelters, that's uh, real. Is he actually farming or is he paying people to farm for it? He's, he farms himself, actually. He has a farm in his own house. There is like a picture of it. And also the same thing with like abortion. I don't know if you heard that part where he talked about abortion. No, I didn't. What his plans are. No, so he's against abortion right but he's not against it that it should be a law but he thinks that he's creating something called plan a and he's already running it's a shelter in Wyoming. mothers who have like babies who their dads have left and they don't want to raise them alone they go to the shelter and they provide mothers who have uh, kids with food and kindergarten and stuff for the children and it's called plan a because he doesn't want mothers to abort their children he he says i encourage mothers not to abort their children i want them to come in the shelter and know they have their money sorted and they they the children have a safe place to grow up see that's what how he, many children have grown up in his i don't know but i'm are sure okay? it's a lot are they okay i don't know but i'm sure like uh the problem with abortion is uh, is way way more yeah more for sure way more complicated just the money and uh, I don't know the kindergarten way more yeah of yeah, course because uh, it's not actually a, a, about the money at all because if yeah. it was about the money they would have born uh, given birth to the child and given it away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But and it's, it's about like parents knowing. It's about a lot of... It's about that too. You know, it's about a lot of stuff. And he's considering that. Like he has therapists. He has all this stuff, you know. Like he knows himself. He said in an interview, he, I, he said it. I know this is not a solution to the pro abortion of the, to the... Like abortion problem. But I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something for you. You know? Just because you don't have the answers to questions doesn't mean that you can't try to bring answers and try to help people who need answers. When your friend's dogs died, you can't bring the dog back alive, but still you go to comfort your friend to help them. When someone's parents died, you know you can't bring their parents back, but you still go to comfort them and make their experience a little bit better, you know? That's what he's trying to do. Trying, to, yeah, but uh, he's trying to do reminds me of a, I don't know, in school you, uh, your science projects. Yeah. You try to invent something. Yeah. And that's really mundane and uh, as a perspective of, uh, when you gain perspective, it seems really dumb. Yeah. But you try to do something. Uh, all the stuff he says, uh, Actually, I think it's really like that, like the science project in the uh, school. Yeah, but the whole thing with planning. Not even in high school, uh, for example, uh, middle school. Yeah, but the whole thing with planning elementary, is that like, I know the abortion problem is not just about the you money. See, uh, for example, he said about the Tesla and the Edison. Yeah. He said, that, oh, if. Uh, Edison hadn't done that, uh, everything would have been free by now. Yeah, that's just being so simple minded and dumb. No, it's being exaggerated. Is he? Uh, you always make excuses. No, me. I'm not making. I'm, this I'm, time he's being exaggerated. He doesn't mean that. He no, I'm not making saying excuses. God, God I, doesn't talk. I know he's dumb. Like this, it, I know that statement is dumb. I know. Like 
Of course, mm-hmm. anything wouldn't be free. And everyone knows that it wouldn't be free, including him. I don't think. I don't really think. He just heard about the Tesla. Uh, did you hear uh, the, about the Bruce Lee? Yeah. <laughs> that they talked about his, he being assassinated. Yeah. Uh, and Joe Rogan, he said, oh, Bruce Lee was assassinated. Yeah. He said, no, he was killed uh, by this drug. And he didn't continue. No, I really believe he, think, uh, he believes conspiracy theories. No, it's not the. It's... I'm not saying. Uh, I'm not saying uh, Bruce Lee was an assassin. Maybe he was, but uh, talking out of your ass. No, he's not, not the way out of his ass. That's the thing you don't understand. Actually, him. he is. This the thing he said about Bruce Lee was that. See, that's the thing like you don't understand what he's saying. He was talking about artists and celebrities dying, right? Yeah, and the record labels. Uh, yeah, he's not maybe, saying he's made, maybe okay. Record labels couldn't uh, contain Prince and they yeah. killed him. Couldn't contain Michael Jackson and they killed him. Yeah, but he's not saying they killed him. Like they literally killed him. They're saying they made life hell for these artists so much that they died. You know, he's he's saying that like they they put pressure in them. They crushed them. You know, he's not saying they literally killed. Them. But he was like bringing examples of celebrities being crushed and being so manipulated by all these industries that when they like they kill their spirits, you know. Uh, That's the thing. Like he's an artist. When he talks, he talks like his music. That's how an artist talks. What is music? It's kind of the why exaggeration. Why is he the only one? There are all these other artists. Okay, there's yes. him. And there's Gwyneth Paltrow, yeah. the, the, the two delusional artists. Why, why is there there's no... so much more, but you don't know about them. Uh, not to this level. For example... Uh, yeah, but he reached this level, that's why you know about no, them. No, no, other... he didn't even reach this level. Uh, actually, I think his level is very low. I think outside the uh, hip-hop community, uh, people don't even know him. And... Uh, He's very, very delusional. And uh, why does why doesn't it uh, happen to other artists? Like, what do you mean? What doesn't happen to other artists? Only talking out of your ass, all the dumb stuff that he says. First of all, I don't think it's dumb, and it's not like, but it does happen with a lot of artists who talk about it, like these, like this. Not to this level. Yeah, I know a lot of there are a lot of dumb artists. Yeah, but uh, see, like you were talking about dumb artists, Eminem is an example of them. You know, Eminem had the dumbest thing ever the last two years with the ele- election of Trump. Yeah, yeah, that I was really against that. That was yeah. really dumb. Okay, uh, he said that was a what some reward that he said. Yeah, a line in the sand. Yeah, uh, but see, like he he didn't bring any answers. He just gave questions and he was protesting, right? Yeah, that was really dumb. Okay, say I'm against Trump and this and that. Yeah, it's not gonna solve anything, yeah? But I respect it because it's an artist expressing himself, you know? Yeah, but it was dumb, Yeah. okay? But he... uh, The problem with Kanye is uh, he's pretending that he has all the answers. He, he's not pretending he has all the answers for the, all the questions in the world. He t- he says that was that was the whole thing with Joe Rogan. He said if you listen to it carefully, and actually Joe Rogan understands him, and at the end he says, yeah, you're right. Actually, what you're saying is right. What he says is that I overcame all these challenges, right? What I- challenges, bro? He was fucking. He had no money. He dropped out of college, and then he became this person. This is, this is all these challenges he overcame. Uh, you yeah. think you're gonna become like him? Never. You think I'm gonna become like him? Never. Actually, I think I'm way better than him. No, you're not. Yeah, actually, I, I don't think you are. I don't think I am. I don't think actually, anyone in our family is. Yeah, actually, I think everyone in our family. No. Maybe in the exception of uh, some people. Actually, I believe I am. Actually, no. I believe you are. Because at the, in the least, if you think about it, I'm not manipulative. Okay. Yeah. And I don't. Uh, I'm not simple-minded. I'm not simple-minded like him. 
Yeah, and he's not Maybe super bad I, either. He really is. When he's talking about Tesla like that, he really is. And he, when he's talking about, I don't know, why in foreign policy countries don't do that, don't just, I want to <laughs> be uh, one race and one uh, st- stuff like that. It's just so simple-minded. And I believe you, uh, I really believe you are way better than him. Just as a, I'm not saying as a moral standpoint, as a, uh, as a intellectual standpoint, not musically, maybe, yeah. But as but as an intellectual, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, no. your IQ level is way higher. It just me. goes to the fact that you're taking his words literally. How else could I take it? He's you're talking. Literature is written. Yeah, but his whole, the whole persona of artists are stretching proofs. Like, not being literally, but being dramatic. Uh, and that's the mindset of an artist. Running for president is not being an artist. Yeah, of okay. course it's not. Of course okay. it's stupid. Everyone knows it's stupid. No one is actually, no one actually believes Kanye is gonna become president, no one actually is gonna vote for him, not even his fans. So why are you, why everyone is pretend, why are you pretending that he's very, being very deep about it? I'm not saying he's being deep about it, so but what? I'm not saying he's being simple minded about it. Actually he is. No, I'm just saying he's a guy who is successful in life right now. Okay. And he just wants to run for president. And he, add, and he, he, he has quite some good ideas, but- What they, good ideas actually? Well, the idea not he had about abortion, abortion. No, no, <laughs> that's not a good idea. Yep, that's not a good idea in the grand scheme, but it can help people at least. Uh, in what way? I think it's it's really gonna hurt people. How's it gonna hurt people? Uh, help. It's gonna them? hurt the children. When uh, see, not everyone is good. Okay? Yeah, for sure. And there are a lot of people. Uh, If they knew, mm. okay, there are uh, a lot of uh, illegal abortions happen. Yeah, all around the world. Mm. And if some people believe that, uh, if they had the children, the kid would be taken care of. Yeah, they would have had the children. Okay. Yeah. And I guarantee there would be a millions of uh, unwanted children. Mm. And what are you going to do about all these children who nobody wanted them? Mm. You cannot fill the hole of uh in their heart yeah in their sure. in their life fill the void yeah of uh not being wanted by your mother yeah okay you cannot do that yeah it doesn't matter how good is the facility how yeah. good uh, the school is how good the take care are mm. you just cannot do that yeah it's not possible but okay i that's why i really believe it's gonna hurt those children yeah but and uh as a uh, after that, it's gonna really hurt the society. But Plan A is not for those mothers and for those children. He said in himself, um, "This is not for someone who genuinely wants to abort their children. This is for a mother who doesn't have any source of income, but genuinely wants to have his children in her hand. But this, but because he doesn't have, she doesn't have the money, she's forced to aborting a child. That's for those." You know? Okay, so those who don't, uh, she's forced to abort, abort the child. Yeah, because she doesn't have money. Have money. Okay. But she genuinely wants the child, you know. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Everyone mm. is going to have, not everyone, all those people mm. who uh, simply can't afford yeah. an abortion uh, are going to go through with the pregnancy and are going to have this child yeah okay uh how are you going to uh, make peace uh, with a mother who cannot couldn't afford the child and the child who is living now in this facility it's not the it's, first of all the facility is just for a child being born and then after that he's gonna he that's his whole thing he's he provides jobs for the mothers so they, they themselves can what job? Farming jobs. Okay, so why don't you just provide the jobs? Hmm? Why should it be for just mothers? 
Yeah, more because children. because just wants for it to be this uh, the same thing with a lot of charities. You, you they they talk about how oh these this stuff was made by these kinds of people. You know, you heard of charities, right? Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't work because. Yeah, it really doesn't work like that. Ben, does it? The professor. Okay, it doesn't. It really doesn't work like that, and I really believe it's gonna hurt the children the most. If you if you think about it, he's not gonna hurt the children he's providing the mothers with a job so they can provide for their own family uh, and what about the mother who can't even can't work because there are people yeah. who can't work yeah and there are people who are unwilling to work yeah that's the main problem well that's the problem with themselves like Kanye is not gonna solve that but he has a solution for these specific kinds of people and he knows he's not gonna make everything great he has solutions for these specific kind of people and he's gonna do it uh, and you see, you cannot put, uh, sort out those specific kind of people because people uh, just lie and cheat just to gain that whatever they want. You see? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But it's so not going to be that there's simple. There's just uh, one additional problem. Now, what, you're, what are you going to do? What do you mean, like lying and cheat? For example, you're saying uh, mothers who cannot afford. Hmm. Uh, you're going to provide jobs. Yeah. People are going to get pregnant just to get that job. Yeah, for sure. And they won't be able to do that job as good as someone who just wants to do that job. Yeah, for sure. Because. But uh, that's the whole thing with society. Like, you can't stop that. Uh, that happens in society yeah, without him can, doing that. Yeah, but it just adds another layer to the problem. Yeah, but it's also it adds another solve solution. Anything. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't solve anything. It just adds another problem. Yeah, it solves for the mother who wants to have their children but doesn't have money. No, no, it doesn't solve that. It does. It provides no, no. jobs. Pro you see, uh, it provides, it causes problems too. But at the same time, it also helps those kinds of people. It's not just bad. It's not just good. It's no, both of you them. see, if your laptop breaks, yeah, do you go to a the best repair shop or do, do you go to the repair shop that says oh this is a repair shop but uh, we created a job for the mothers who uh, couldn't afford that's true I go to the best repair shop but imagine I want to make food I go to the store it says oh this this apple was raised in the farm who single moms worked there. and then the other one is this apple was raised in the farm where machines work I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna buy the one that single mom ordered. That's because it's a simple actually, thing. I, I, no, no, actually, I, I would buy the machine mom. Why? Because uh, it shouldn't be like... Uh, how do you know they know what they're doing? You see but, how... You do know how hard it is, what it requires to... Yeah. Uh, how, how do you know you're gonna get into a plane and the plane is not gonna crash? Because they... They they know that the person who's the pilot has tested and he's qualified for the job. Yeah, yeah. It's the same with this. No, no. They're not gonna thing. care if the mom is pregnant or not. The first most important thing is that if they're qualified for the job or not, and that's what Kanye says. No, no. That, that, that's putting it in second place. Uh, it would be like. Uh, uh, you see, they're looking for mothers who can't afford uh, to care for their children. Yeah. Then they're going to qualify them for the job. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Uh, but how do you know if the best one of them yeah. is the one million pe person yeah. on the list of total people who could do this? You're job? not going to know that, but that yeah. doesn't fucking matter. It's, yeah, it's, it's really it stupid. No, it's, no, it it's, not, it's not an official thing that's going to be our society's most important like provider of food yeah but it really does matter yeah it does matter in the general perception of you getting a normal job but this is not a normal job uh it should be a normal job but he doesn't want it to be a normal so job. it's not it's not a solution you see everything 
everything should be about uh, being competitive. Yeah, being for the sure. most qualified. Okay. Yeah, for but no, of course it is. See, like right now, you know what I feel like about you? I feel like one of you're one of those people who just listens to a Jordan Peterson talk and you think you know everything, right? No, actually, I. Uh, do you know this guy, uh, Sheldon? Uh, My, yeah. Michael Sheldon? Yeah. Who disagrees with uh, Jordan Peterson? Yeah. Yeah, I've listened to him too. Yeah. So, but I really agree with Jordan Peterson on this. Yeah. That of every, course, it's qualification. Every, yeah. Every I shouldn't. Qualification, of course, it matters, but this is not for this is not intended for that this is not intent this is not marketed as the best farm ever this is marketed as what it is when when a job when you go to a job right so i i'm guessing people won't buy that yeah but of they're not gonna buy it as much as other people it's still gonna be bought but it's not gonna be bought as much no one yeah yeah it's not gonna be no one yeah actually people are going to buy that no one buys just it just because single moms yeah uh raise it but that doesn't help anything that, that doesn't solve anything it I does guarantee. it does provide money for them it's the same with charity it's it's exactly a complicated form of charity yeah charities don't work Charities don't work. Of course, they don't in the grand scheme of things, but they work for a short time. They they do work for a short time, but they don't solve society's problem. But they no, work they for don't work for a short time. They do. How do they? Just uh, providing one single link is not even short time. Short yeah. time is like uh, solving a problem for ten years. Yeah, but it's not, it's not just providing single link. It's a job. It's not, it's not like you get the money and then you go, you work there. I don't know. You know, it's, let me give you an example. Imagine you lost your legs, right? Yeah. And then there was this fa facility that said, oh, uh, we provide jobs for people who have lost their legs, right? So uh, just put your perspective on that person, right? And then you have this facility who says, oh, we get the most qualified people, right? Yeah. You go there. You're not qualified, right? But then you go there and the guy was like, oh, I can give you a job, but the salary is lower, but I can still give you a job. You're, you are going to take the job. And at the end of the day, it does provide you with money that you can help yourself. You might not be there forever, but it does give you a Kickstarter. And that's, that's mostly for a lot of people. You know, Jordan Peterson has a talk where he says like, having zero, is really hard for having one dollar that's that's an amazing start because you at least have one dollar to go off or something if you have completely nothing that's just nothing you can't make something out of nothing it's the same with this you know it's a kickstart see I yeah 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 i agree with that of course it's not gonna like solve the grand scheme of things then see i uh yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, that might be it. But about the single moms, actually, I really. Uh, uh, see, the abortion is. Yeah, it's really tough. Yeah, tough. You see? Uh, of course, there should be consequences. Hmm. And people who are not ca as careful yeah uh, should suffer the consequences yeah sure. but unfortunately in the, in the uh in the matter of abortion mm. all, all the consequences falls uh, on the shoulders of the child either he died he or she dies yeah. or either he or she is being born mm. but is not loved yeah. or it's not provided mm -hmm. uh, thoroughly yeah you see that's the tough part you see the consequences is not on the uh, people responsible for yeah them. of course that, that's that makes it so hard because either way the child uh, is hurt yeah but that's the thing like 
that's why I, I'm really against uh, providing for the mom. Yeah, but that's providing a, job for the mom yeah, or the father. But the plan A doesn't just provide jobs for the mom; it does also provide jobs for the children. Uh, job for children should be the government. It should no. provide, uh, for example, school or I don't know. Yeah, it does provide school. That's the yeah, problem. but the next when you provide school and care for the children, the next problem would be people just uh, being less careful. Very be less careful. When they know, okay, uh, if even even if I get pregnant, there's yeah. this uh, organization who takes care of my child. Yeah. And but I'm sure. Was, uh, again, yeah, it's, it's a cycle. But I'm sure they have something in mind to prevent that. Like how how old is the child or how what's the story? You know, all of these are important. And of course, there's gonna be like stuff that are like someone who's gonna cheat cheat the system for sure. It's the same with every kind of organization but that doesn't mean it's not a good thing and it's not going to provide good stuff you know yeah i, I don't know i don't i don't really know but in, in the in this matter like i said yeah anything you do is just going to hurt the child or it's going to create more children mm. so either way uh, uh it's a very mm. complicated issue yeah But in the uh, in the matter of Kanye, I really believe your IQ level is way higher than that. I really believe that. Yeah, but I also believe that I can never accomplish as something as him. Uh, you know, like genius is not related to IQ. Genius. Actually, is related. Yeah, but it's not everything. Someone can have the highest IQ and just be unsuccessful. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But uh, we're not talking about. He's not uh, talked about as being this successful. Everyone say, "Oh, he's genius." No, he's successful. Yeah, but he's not genius. I guess that just goes around of scoring around a circle. That yeah, that just goes by the fact that you just don't understand the music. You know. I don't know. I feel like you have created this god of him. Yeah, because I listened to his music. I didn't create a god of him before I listened to me, his music. I didn't even care about it. Like at first, I thought he was a stupid person. I thought it was always this asshole, right? But then I started listening to his albums, and then I listened to him over and over. And actually, you know, it clicks. It's just like a click. You understand him, and then you you can tell like how amazing these songs are and how. Much time they put into them, and how much it changed the whole landscape of music. Okay, but uh, I really think he's not that good. I don't really even think he's good. He's below good. He's mm. mediocre. Even his music. But in the subject matter of, I don't know. IQ standpoint, I think is very dumb. And there are a lot of, uh, for example, have you seen the Jack Ma? Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, Elon Musk. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Jack Ma is a stupid person. He's very, right? he's very dumb, but he's yeah. really rich and he's yeah. very successful. Okay. For sure. That's exactly what how I feel about yeah. Kanye. Yeah, he created I don't know something that clicked with people, hmm. but. He's really dumb. No, it's not just something. It's multiple stuff. It's over like two decades almost, you know? Like, I, I just feel like it just goes to the fact that like you don't understand the music. It would be the same if you showed me like a great athlete that does some, you know, like when you talk about like skate stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand their techniques and I don't find them impressive. You might show something to your friends and you might show something I say, oh, this is impressive, but I think, oh, this is just dumb, you know? I feel like it's the same with this, like... Yeah, maybe. But the thing is, in sports, uh, there's no... Uh, there's no opinion. Yeah, of course. Everything is objective. Yeah, I know. Because uh, either you win, either or yeah. you lose. But in the... Uh, there's no taste. Yeah, I know. But in about music, about art, there's for sure. Taste. There is, but 
at the end of the day, there is still some stuff which are universally known and agreed on that these are good stuff and these are bad stuff. And universally, I, I'm not talking about rap music. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about universally in music. If you ask someone who listens to music or follows the world music, if you ask someone what they think about the what they think about Kanye, even if they hate him, they can tell you this guy is really good and he's a genius. Because the is stuff- Is there a poll on internet? Yeah. Google search? How many people think he's a genius? Mm. What the percentage is? And that's the thing I told you, like, Elon Musk has said he's a genius. Is there a poll? I guess it's in Quora. Why is Kanye a music genius? This is in music software. This it is asks people, I guess. Having grown up listening to you, so you may like some context to see this shit. No, no, it's just people's opinion. Yeah. I want to see the, a poll. I don't think if there's you, a... If you search poll in the search bar, poll. Astonishing. There was. Oh, uh, it just. Back. It just comes for his like. In the astonishing ranked. No, it's for Donald Trump. Vote. Results. Go. Nah. It's Kanye West is genius polls. Oh. It's the same with Reddit. <laughs> it's still Reddit. No. You see, <laughs> but in majority. But this is a Reddit. poll. But this is a poll yeah. like R slash poll. This is, it, most of these people don't know anything about Kanye. They just see the poll and they just say no. You see, but it's seventy-seven percent. Yeah, but this is a subreddit for polls. This is like going to a university of physics and ask and bringing someone like, a, a, like an artist and say, "Oh, this is a genius or not?" You see, anything that I bring up, you say. Yeah, yeah because this is not valid. This is a poll actually. I, do, I don't know anything about Reddit. Yeah, because yeah, because this is, this is a community of polls. People who are active in this community, look at this. They see this the whole day. This is just random shit. They just go yes or no. Okay, it, but it's everyone, I assume. No, it's not. It's just 27,000 people who just see it's from a sugar daddy, you know? It's stupid stuff. Yeah, but. Has there reason boy love scandal? See? You, go, you have to go to a music. Okay, is there any music, Paul? The second one is genius.com, Kanye or Eminem. No, this is the uh, this is genius uh, for the music. Thing. Oh, they talk and uh, talk about it, no? Yeah. As a rapper, Eminem as a producer, Kanye was storytelling come with Eminem, of course is Kanye West. Black Top. What the fuck? It's not a poll, it's just yeah. Well, all right, let me let me. Let me mm. See, like if you go to a music subreddit, you're gonna get this people who are disagreeing. Actually, this has like two upvotes. It's gonna have some stupid shit. Uh, let me go to. Thank you. Like, you know this channel, Genius, it's all about like, uh, uh, music, right? Okay. I mean, it has all this stuff like, you can't even change the music. Vox, you know Vox, right? Actually, I really hate Vox. Yeah, Vox is pretty nice. <laughs> Polyphony uh, is a really good channel to be talked about. But at the end of it, these are all just people's opinions. <laughs> they don't really... Yeah, there was just one poll. Yeah, it was, uh, Also, that wasn't percentage, that was 77 people. <laughs> uh, I don't know, 
break. something uh, I mean I haven't seen this picture much this the philosophy of anyway. the philosophy of this one West guy I don't know this guy 19 minutes Jeez. 13 minutes 13 minutes yeah, if it's good this guy's too <coughs> Jesus Christ Crack, Jared here. Today we have a special episode on an artist who forces us to think about our own mortality, among other things. What's the point of thinking? <laughs> Kanye West. Following Kanye gives you the feeling of watching a train filled with $300 sneakers crash into a guy dressed as Jesus. But at the same time, he projects a certain sincerity that seems to contradict his otherwise impulsive image. I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. There's no doubt that Kanye thinks Kanye is a philosopher. Socrates, but my skin more chocolatey. I don't think we should go quite that far, but Kanye does share at least one concern with 19th century Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard. Death, like a lot of feelings about death. Welcome to this Wisecrack edition on the philosophy of Kanye West and death. Part one, death anxiety. Kanye has never been shy about mentioning death. We're all gonna die one day. In his 2005 Grammy Award speech, he spoke about his experience with a car accident and his discovery that nothing in life is promised except death. Kanye has repeated similar sentiments throughout his career. <laughs> Only luxury is time. Only yeah, luxury. This guy seems like he's just ranting. I guess like it's a really short video. People talk about it every day and the barbershops are talking about it, at the offices they talk about it, the internet is talking about it. This day is building up so much. Ten years ago today, Kanye West released Graduation, the final piece of the education themed trilogy that established Kanye as an icon. With graduation, Kanye moved to a new level, musically and culturally. He graduated to rock star status. I finally got a couple, man. I, I made it, man. I made it. We on the top of the world. You see what we doing? You see how fresh to death as usual. You know what I'm saying? This is not a mishap. The change was a concerted effort on Kanye's part. He came off of opening for U2 on their Vertigo tour with one goal in mind, make music for stadiums. He was inspired by the ovations that Bono would receive after his performances. When you hear stronger, when you saw it way stronger went off, you knew like, oh, fuck it. I see what this song is for. It's very simply for the club, for the car, but also to you know, just annihilate the stadiums. This focus led West to seek out new samples, sounds, and even change his lyrical structure. It was now all about anthems. La, 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 would you like it, my boy? been known for his deft handling of a soul sample, but on graduation, he dived into more electronic depths. He turned away from the live instruments of late registration for his synthesizers. sampled a track by French duo Daft Punk for one of his biggest singles to date, Stronger. According to producer A-Track, West hadn't even heard of Daft Punk prior to flipping their song. In a genus annotation, A-Track said, quote, We were on tour in Europe in 2006, spending a lot of hours on the bus listening to the radio. Kanye heard Touch It and thought that beat was cool. I said, he just swooped up Daft Punk. And Ye said, who? I just couldn't believe that Kanye had never heard Daft Punk. After two critically acclaimed projects, Kanye wanted his third album to solidify his place at the top. I want the number one spot. I'm going for it. I'm about to take it. So yeah, has there any... Has there ever been any polls? If he's a genius or not, there was one, but you didn't accept it. No, because that was in the poll subreddit. <laughs> I don't know. It, there should be videos of like actual people talking. About 
Yeah, because that pole was in the pole. Like you don't know how Reddit works, but that that exactly like going to like <laughs> I'm coming to your like you know the the st stadium you like people are skating and then ask them do you think like this doctor is a genius or not and then like you know the answers I'm gonna get. Actually, I think it's a very If it would have been on the, I don't know, Kanye fan page, yeah, it would have been yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's or just his enemies fan page that on a page that says Kanye yeah. sucks. Yeah, that would be biased. Biased. But I guess it was just on a stupid <laughs> website. Uh, should be. Well, it should. This guy actually he thinks he's not, and let's see what people answer. This is just quarrel. This is this is the same thing like people will say random shit. Uh, what is it? What is the question? Green answers. Oh, let me give it. Give me the question. Is Kanye was a genius? It's written. No, his his question is here, but it's not there. So he says pretty much only the owner is provision that Kanye is a genius because he calls himself one. He's egoistic and his music is popular. Simply he's not a genius as much as I hate his music. That was the question. And uh, this is the top answer. Yeah. The answer is simply yes, Kanye is a genius. It's beyond comparison from his Related question: Why is Kanye West considered to be a great artist? I've listened to his music, and uh, I'm sure it's and it, and it sounds like every song like that. I'm missing something. I think by mainstream side, Kanye is one of the most challenging and considered excellent artists in every single. You see, I'm not the only one. Yeah, of course. Why is Kanye West so popular? Are his lyrics maybe that good? Or is there? A couple of what is what is Kanye West's problem like? <laughs> but people have answered. Like there are people, there are periods in my Kanye you West. Know, the most six period. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, they're talking about like each album, basically. Tell me that Kanye West is not accurate. Does not. All right. See, like that's the thing because you're not in music. You you can't really judge. I'm also like I think I should have. I say this a lot, but I should. I mention this a lot. The fact that like his albums, like what you hear right now in music, especially right now, because you don't listen to music right now. Everything, basically everything, is influenced by Kanye. Like if you hear something experimental, it was him who started. If you hear raps about love and stuff like that, A Do It Sound Heartbreak, that was the first album in hip hop that was about heartbreak. You know. Like thinking about it, it's just you know it is visionary because it it it, it never came across anyone's mind. It's not just thinking outside the box. It's saying like I'm gonna do this and this is gonna work, and it did work, you know. 
Okay, that's being successful. You see? And also being a visionary. <laughs> no, no, being a visionary is way different. You said it's creating something from scratch. Yeah, right? Uh, not just creating, see? Mm. Uh, maybe it depends on your definition on the, on the word visionary. Yeah. For example, uh, Steve Jobs was a visionary. Yeah. Okay. He was not. He was not a genius. He was mm. not. Uh, some people say he was not a good guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He didn't know anything. He didn't know how to create an iPhone. Yeah. But he had this vision that I want this. Yeah. And the same thing, like you know, the college dropout, the first album. Remember yeah. the last track where he says they expected that college dropout to drop and then flop, right? That yeah. was before he even released a single. Okay, that was not... like an album, like yeah, yeah. no one. But then it blew up, not because he's, no, not because people knew his name, not because people promoted him, because people genuinely listened to him. No, no, you see. I see visionary, I say Steve Jobs because it changed almost everyone's life. Yeah, but Earth. and Kanye changed. Kanye didn't do any music. Anything for him. No, no. He changed just hip hop. Maybe. Maybe. And also I really doubt that. any kind of music. No, no. What I really doubt any rock star who respects Kanye. Actually, I really there doubt is, there's a lot. I really doubt that they uh, take him seriously. Well, that's the thing, is like you're you because speculations actually like when there is a lot of rock stars or important people david boy actually came out and said kanye is a genius there is a guy i told you about his name is uh nikkei he's a respected musician the, the guy does jazz and stuff like that he's a respected musician he's like 60 years or something and he came out and said oh like the most important figure in music uh in the 21st century is Kanye West and he has changed music. David Bowie has endorsed music. Okay, but you know, like endorsed Kanye. You know, like all these I... people in the music know his impact and how he changed music. No, and that's I'm gonna stand by that. Even though I know nothing about music, I feel like uh that's just hip hop. I really mm -hmm. I'm really confident that he, he maybe just changed hip hop. Maybe. Because you know, maybe not even that. The same thing with alternative, right? Like the rock. Uh, you know, like Twenty One Pilots raps. Okay. Yeah. Are you yeah. gonna believe it? To say that Kanye was one of those people who started rapping on rock beats. Like before him, no one would try to rap on rock beats. Actually, Eminem did it on the "Sing for the Moment" was way. Yeah, before. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But but that wasn't like created by Eminem. Sing for the moment is a sample by. Uh, there is a band called. Uh, yeah, Murphy. but it wasn't just. Uh, or uh, for example, no, Stan is not rock. It's just made more of like pop, popish. Mm. But that's just the the beat is rock. Mm. Rock and roll. It was a sample. Like I know he did it, of course, and that's. Props to him, but still, like he didn't create the sample, he didn't create the music. You yeah, know the thing because with Eminem doesn't create music. Yeah, always... the thing with Kanye, you don't understand is that everything is him. It's just him. I don't know. I just don't see the genius. I really don't. Well, that I told you. That. Actually, I see the opposite of genius. I guess that just comes out of the fact that you just don't understand. <laughs> you see. 